So these are the ones that are pretty much strictly nocturnal. They're boreal forest specialists. They require old growth forests um, for their habitats. So pretty much find these guys in older forests exclusively. Very rarely will they be anywhere else, especially, I mean, during the winter, the non-breeding times, they can be other places, but during the breeding season, the spring and the summer, pretty much older forest, lots of spruce. Uh, these guys nest in cavities, if they can fit in it, or they'll nest in a broken off snag. So uh, a tree with the top naturally broken off, they'll just build, build just lay eggs on the top of that. All right. Um, I'm gonna, now I'm going to see how big it is. So what I'm doing here is just taking the wing length because, um, okay, do you think for most birds, who's bigger, males or females? Females. Okay, uh, like say a chickadee, what's bigger, male or the female? I don't know, male. Male, yeah. And most bird songbirds, the males are bigger than the females. Not by much, just by a little bit. But for raptors, things like owls and hawks and eagles, falcons, the females are actually bigger than the males. Now, what I'm doing is just taking a wing length to see how much bigger this one is. And I might need Chris's help here. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Chris <laughs> is going to measure a wing length. So, we'll just... Oh, and that snap, that, that's just a bill. That's just the bill snap, and that is a sign of uh, not being very happy. I'll just measure it up and then uh, add on whatever. So this is a female, uh, just by the wing. Normally I would weigh it as well, but I don't, my skill doesn't go this big. <laughs> okay, um, the next thing I want to do is try to figure out how old the owl is. And what I do there is, can I get somebody to get the light switches please? Did everybody see the pink in the wing? Mm -hmm. Those are new feathers. The white ones are older feathers. So this bird is complicated. So this is an older bird. So it is at least two years old. So not born this summer, but born a couple summers ago. So I can just tell that by how many, how the pattern of the pink feathers are in with the white feathers. Something, a couple other things neat. Um, these guys stick around all year round. So they have lots of feathers, lots of feathers to keep them warm. They also have feathers on their feet. Most birds don't. They have um, their feet and their legs are bare. But since these guys are around all winter, they have feathered tarsuses and feathered feet. Okay, let's go watch a flyway. All right, everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, mama, go do your thing. So, little smaller guys, and each band has a unique number on it. So, if this owl's ever caught by us or somebody else, we can track its um, a lot of important information, like its mig migratory route, whether it's coming back year after year after year, where it's spending its life, basically. Um, actually, we caught one a couple days ago that had a band that wasn't banded by us. It was banded by somebody else. And we know it wasn't banded in Alberta. It was either banded in Saskatchewan or in Ontario. I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to get the information. Um, it was, I know it, it was also banded last year. Like
like last fall. So it went somewhere and then it came back and now we caught it again. So once we figure out when and where it was banded, we can really start pick, putting together where these birds are going. So here's a little song. <laughs> Not a puppy. She's <laughs> trying to claw you. Trying to. These guys, not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just sneaking. They are adorable. Look at this. Yeah, when it comes to cute, these owls take the cake. Very awesome little owls. They love their head scratch. So. Does it really? Look at it. It's just loving it. So. I just can't believe it. So a little solid owl. This is the second smallest uh, owl in Alberta. The smaller one, do you remember what it's called? The pygmy. pygmy owl. Yeah, and it's probably, probably about that big compared to a solid. Uh -huh. So, um, and barred owls actually eat solids for lunch. So. What, what do solids eat? What? Uh, they mostly eat smaller rodents, uh, mice, voles. They also go after songbirds as well, oh, like little chickens yeah. and whatnot. Oh wait, so I'll put them. Oh, you want to see an owl's ear? Uh -huh. yeah. All right. You guys ready? Right there. Oh. So it's a slit on the side of the head. Remember I said one is higher on the head than the other. I got more of John's ear than the owl's ear. <laughs> now a couple other things. Remember I was saying about the feet? Mm -hmm. So this is normally how a bird's feet will go. We've got three toes up front. And the, oh, don't touch me. Three toes up front and one in behind. So that's how most songbirds go. That just allows them to perch. Now what these guys have is there one toe here? It can rotate like that. See how it can go back and forth? It's not fixed in place. So that helps it. You can see how that would be a better way to grab prey. If you can, instead of trying to grab something like this, if you can grab it like that. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Makes sense? And I don't know, you can't really see too much with the eyes. Pet them again. <laughs> Other than they have really fuzzy eye eyelids. Does he have the fuzzy eyelids? So. Okay. Looks like you got big nose. You guys the no, no, no. Um, this is actually a lot longer than we'll keep a bird. Like, this, remember, this is a wild animal. It's got places, go, things to do. Doing, I'm just taking a little more time to show you guys and really appreciate what these birds are like up close. Normally, if I'm here by myself, I'd have this bird banded, all my measurements out on its way in a minute. Um, but every once in a while, it's nice to be able to show off what we do here. Richard, how many have? Is it highly consistent that you bring in banded birds that you've banded here? Uh, for sawwets? Yeah. No. No? No, no. We'll only Is that catch much one of or two. Population? Yeah. I mean, but we do get quite a few that have been caught somewhere else. Like a couple that have been caught just outside Edmonton, a couple that have been re caught, like that have been banded mm -hmm. here uh, in Saskatchewan, a couple in Montana. Um, and considering that we've only banded 600, well, about, well, almost 700, including this year, having five or six recaptures is actually really good. When we do the songbirds, like during the summer, we do songbird migration. We banded over 50,000, and we only had about seven recaptures. So, yeah, so the owls are a lot better. Okay, do you want to see the little guy fly away? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go outside again.